never give me the one. Right here, John. 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 Well, I'm very proud of my team, uh, my, my, my team, my staff. Uh, I thought we put a pretty good scouting report together. Um, Chris is an excellent coach. Um, he's done a hell of a job there in a short period of time. Uh, they had one of those days where they didn't make some shots, and uh, we've been there before. Thank God these two guys made a bunch of shots, but the game was won with the rebounding, and both of them had some great offensive rebounds. And I, I really believe that's where the game was won, along with some of the shots they made. So uh, it was an old school win for us. The Cleaveses and Smiths and Petersons and, you know, Draymonts and all the guys from the past would have been proud because it was a, it was a tough, rugged game. And uh, we haven't been bringing that all the time this year. And I thought we did a hell of a job of it. Okay, questions raise your hand. Let's get the handheld mic to you. Let's know. Yeah. Who, who you are, who you're with, and we're first going to have the questions initially for Tyson and Jaden, and then we'll circle back with Coach. Who has the first question? Jim Comperoni, SpartanMag.com. Tyson, uh, the rebounding effort that Izzo was talking about, can you talk about how the players had talked about collectively, I assume collectively, making that happen against a very good rebounding team, yourself with some big ones as well, the rebounding effort? Uh, the guards had to uh, come back and help. Uh, that was the big part. Uh, the bigs, we knew they were going to be battling, boxing out, trying to keep them off the glass. So we just had to come and clean it up. Uh, and, you know, just staying focused, you know, not losing a man as the shot goes up, just making sure you hit somebody. Next question, third row. Jeremy Grandison, ESPN Charlotte for Jaden Akins. Uh, your shot was falling early, allowed you to kind of drive a little more, open up to the basket, and then you get a big dunk there. Can you talk about that play, but also getting your offense through the flow of the game as well? Oh, yeah, I feel like early I just uh, took good shots. Uh, my first shot was an open three, and I hit it, uh, and that kind of got me going. And then from there, uh, the play you're talking about, uh, he kind of closed out hard, um, and I just hit him with a pump fake um, and went baseline, just tried to finish. Um, but my team, you know, I, I credit my team a lot because they just told me to keep shooting. No matter if I'm making or missing, just keep shooting and staying confident. So, so I did. Other questions for Tyson, Jaden? Middle of the room. Uh, Hunter Bailey with the Highway 49 podcast. Just want to ask both players what you thought of the environment today. Obviously, first game of the tournament. I'm sorry, I was uh, interrupted. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry. Uh, the environment? Yeah. I the atmosphere was really good. Um, our, our fans showed out as they always do. Heard a lot of um, go green, go white chants uh, throughout the arena. Uh, you know, it's March, so you know, uh, it's always going to be a great atmosphere. Third row to our right. Uh, for the players, Steve Reed from the Associated Press. Um, I just wonder, in having the coach sitting next to you who has had so much success in the first round, 20 and 5, I mean, what type of an influence is that, you know, when you guys take the court for for a game like that, knowing a game like this, knowing that you're going to be well prepared? Uh, I think he does a good job with the preseason, just, you know, purposely making us play games on one day prep, uh, you know, quick turnarounds with games. So I think that's why we come in. Uh, we know how to lock in mentally uh, and just follow the scouting report. Jaden? Uh, yeah, like Tyson said, I mean, coach has been in a situation. He always talks about um, Experience is the you know best thing to have, and he has a lot of that in this tournament. So uh, we got all the faith in him uh, to put us in a position, and then we just got to go out and do what we do. Fourth row to our right. Uh, this can be for either of y'all that want to answer, but when Coach talks about this being an old school game and then the legends that have played here and how they'd be proud of a performance like that, Michigan State has had so many legendary performances in this tournament. That can be pressure, I assume, or it could be sort of an inspiration that that uh, allows that to happen year in and year out. How do you guys sort of internalize that ahead of games like this? Uh, that's kind of our motto, you know, just being physical, uh, you know, doing the dirty work. Uh, so it's not like we are reinventing anything new. We just got to do it. <laughs> do it better than we've been. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jim Comperoni, SpartanMag.com. Tyson and Jaden on uh, guarding Hubbard, explosive sto uh, scorer. Can you talk about uh, the awareness that you guys had to have in terms of guarding him and how you feel you did as a team defensively as the game wore on? Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, just trying to make every catch 
uh, you know, beat them on every catch, every shot contested. You know, uh, first half, he got it going. And then we kind of second half just uh, locked in more uh, and contested every shot he took, uh, made sure they were further out, uh, not letting him get any easy ones. And I, I think he only scored one more basket in the second half. You know, just everyone uh, helping each other, uh, making sure we stopped their man player. Jay? Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, we knew uh, the type of scorer that he was. Uh, we just really had to make had to make it tough on him. You know, I mean, scorers gonna score the ball. They are gonna find a way to get some points. But if you know you hold them below their average or hold them below their uh, field goal percentages, then I feel like that's a win for our team. And I feel like we made it kind of tough for him. Okay, last question for the two student athletes. Tom Shanahan, Spartan Meg, Jaden and Tyson. They slapped that press on you early and got a couple of turnovers. And then after that, you guys seemed to handle it. You always found the third guy open. Was that similar to an earlier press this year or, or just preparation before the tournament? Uh, we always go over uh, press breakers. Uh, you know, we call it special teams. So just being prepared, um, just knowing where you're supposed to be. The turnovers, you kind of got, um, you know, just relaxed a little too much. So we just had to make sure we stayed focused, you know, make the right reads. Jaden? Oh, yeah, like Tyson said, I mean, uh, we go over press breakers basically before every game if a team has pressed. Uh, and it doesn't have to be like they press all game just at all. So I feel like we've been well prepared for that. Uh, and it just took us a little bit to get settled in. Then we start uh, breaking it. OK, thanks, guys. Great job. Thank you. You guys head back to the locker room. And we'll take questions for Coach Izzo. First one, front row to our right. Jeff Lesson, WWJ in Detroit. Coach, uh, you've seen this movie before. Low seed entering the tournament. Make a little noise. Things turn around quickly. This performance by your team, what does it mean to you in terms of that? Well, you know, I, I thought this was one of the better first game performances of a team that, you know, deservingly so was seated a little lower. I, I, I thought we brought everything from the from the get-go you know we moved the ball well we shot the ball well we rebounded the ball we were up 16 to 10 at halftime the only thing I was disappointed in it was sloppy I mean I give them a lot of credit but you know Malik AJ made some sloppy turnover spin dribble in the lane things like that and they got some buckets off that and and then you know that first half we were up I think 13 or 12 and Trey struggled there a little bit. He, he threw some great lobs. He just threw them too high. Both those might have been dunks, and instead, um, that's where Hubert, uh, you know, got fast break, open three, fast break layup, and all of a sudden he gets going. And when he gets going, it's scary because I've seen him light up some teams that I have a lot of respect for. Right aisle. Sean Woods of Detroit Free Press. Tom, you've talked a, a few times about Jaden Aikens. Sometimes if he misses a couple of shots, is it affecting him on the other end? That, that, that was perhaps as locked in as he's been on both ends in, in a bit. Did, yeah. did, did, you, did you feel that coming? Yeah, I told him. I sent him a text really, really, really early this morning. I mean, he, the kid's been under a lot, but he just keeps working. I mean, he's in there every day. And I said, you know, as good a kid you are, as good a student you are, you should go, go into this game. You deserve to be good. You know, you deserve it. You, you, you've done what we do as coaches. You know, we lose a game, we go back and work harder. And that's what he did. And I, I think it was his best game three-dimensionally. He defended it. He rebounded it. He shot it. And he even passed it some. Uh, so maybe four-dimensionally. It was no question Jay Nakins his best game uh, here at Michigan State. And it kind of come at a better time, a couple big-time rebounds. and. So I'm, I'm really happy for him. He, he deserves what he got. To our left. John Treach, WCCB Charlotte. Coach, yesterday you called making your 26th straight tournament, quote, neat. How would you describe your 56th tournament win? Phenomenal. <laughs> Exciting. Um, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I, I think those are some of the things you do when you retire. You know, so Jay Wright told me a couple of weeks ago, you worry about those things after you're done. And uh, for me, I'm just, I'm ecstatic that, you know, I kept saying all year this team was good enough and I was proving me wrong just because of the mistakes we made. And, uh, and ironically, we had the most turnovers we had all year, 16. I mean, we've done a great job. We've been under 10. We think we're averaging eight. And I think they deserve some credit. I mean, this guy, Chris, is a hell of a coach. I mean, if you watch their film and watch some of the teams they dismantled, 
he's a hell of a coach, and today wasn't their day. I don't know if uh, Jeffries was hurt. Somebody said he was limping a little bit. He's a hell of a player, and uh, the best rebounding team I've seen since ourselves way back in the day. But I, I'm just uh, I'm happy that my staff put together a hell of a deal and players followed it. And uh, why we don't lock in all the time, again, that falls on me. But today we did from start to finish, even what mistakes we made. Left aisle. Jeremy Granasini, ESPN Charlotte. Coach, you started out strong. They were able to weather the storm, or you weathered the storm a little bit. Can you just talk about what you're saying in those huddles or whatever to kind of keep that team resiliency to be yeah, able to Yeah, you know, I, I was pretty good for me in the huddles. Um, but, uh, you know, I just thought we had that stretch where Trey, and, and Trey's been playing great. He's been maybe my most important, and he hits a big three. But those two lobs and then a turnover, and they, they picked up seven points so quick to make your head spin. And, uh, and that's because Hubert is such a good player. Uh, so, you know, we weathered that storm, and when they cut it to, I think, five. I don't know what they got it down to. They get it to four, five, whatever, six, whatever it was. Um, and then we made some good plays, too. So um, in the huddles, guys were focused. And you can tell when guys are focused, you know. I, don't, I think I got some seniors don't want to go home yet, and they played like it. Last question, front row. Matty Sissoko had nine rebounds, I think, according to the box score. Um, his ability to give you some of that rebounding strength that was required to win this game. Yeah. You know, it's, it's been hard when you think of Jaden or you think of Matty. And, um, and I know people people like to pick apart things you do. And, and that kid's been through a lot, you know, in his life and uh, this year with some deaths in his family. And But I thought that the best he played was against Purdue when he just looked like a monster rebounder that I had recruited. He hadn't been that way all year, and that's one of the things we talked about him. We did not think we could win this game without him doing what he did. And sure enough, I didn't realize he had nine rebounds, so that's even more impressive. So everybody's got a job to do, as Bill Belichick says, and uh, his job is to rebound and defend. And um, he did that at a very, very high level. Okay, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Yeah. You're stuck with me, and I'm stuck with you, and that's not a bad thing. I thought you were going with the cool. All right, good job.